Well, it was a <clears throat> odd morning. I uh, had that thing happen last night where I have really vivid dreams. And when I wake up, it's my indicators are just silence of the lambs, which would be artificial intelligence and illegal technology that the government put inside of me <clears throat> without my consent. Now, I'm not sure about DARPA. They might be okay here. But Lockheed Martin and all of these other political uh, electromagnetic technologies and everything I've talked about, it's all in my videos. But the dreams that I had last night, man, they were, they were, A, I dreamed about aliens all night, right? Then I dreamed about uh, nuclear holocaust. Now, usually the important dreams, and I can barely remember those dreams, but I remember aliens and nuclear holocaust. But the really important dreams are going to be right before I wake up because... They, I can remember the dreams better, but <clears throat> the dream was about Mark Cuban, right? The Cuban Missile Crisis and Bill Clinton, okay? That's what the dream was about, and Monica Lewinsky. Now, I'll, let me break all this down for you, quantumly, and how E.T. puts these dreams in my head to explain to you what needs to happen. So, Mark... Cuban, Mark, you know from the Bible, the Mark of the Beast, Mark, uh, Q-Ban, right? Q, like that Q that's all over the internet, or quantum technology is what it really is. Quantum technology that hacked all of these kids' minds without their consent or their parents' consent so they can play these little dig dirt up on the government games, right? Quantum, okay? Mark Cuban was running for president, right? And he's the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, okay? Uh, and he's also uh, into, he, he made all his money off of like software and computers and things like that. So there's some underlying stuff you could really investigate there. But Mark of the Beast, Cuban. Now the Cuban Missile Crisis, right? Remember that? I'm not sure how full of shit everybody was. Sometimes Russia and America works together and they'll create fake news because something more important is going on that they want to keep swept under the rug and they don't want the government, I mean, they don't want the population to find out, right? So Russia and America will pretend like they're enemies and then they'll use something like the Cuban Missile Crisis to, you know, it... it it's all you hear in the news and everything, so you don't hear about what's really going on, like a major depression or a recession. It's just a, it's kind of like this coronavirus that's going on right now, right? Which is, I'm pretty sure, there's something to it. I mean, it's, I think that there's not as much to the actual virus, okay? I, I think there's something really big going on, but <clears throat> this was the dreams that I had. Now, now we want to ban, and this is all E.T., okay? So E.T. saying Mark of the Beast is this quantum technology and ban it. Mark Cuban, okay? Ban this technology from hacking people's minds. The Cuban Missile Crisis. And here's, and by the way, this may have been Russia because these two stones, the Sputnik and Lockheed Martin stone, go back and forth. I've already told you how they do that. But Lewinsky, right, she was under mind control. Maybe it was Russia, okay? La is the, La Winsky, the win, ski. Anytime you hear ski, that's Russian. The Winsky, right? President Clinton had a Cuban, Cuban <laughs> cigar, right? Stuck it in there. So that is the embargo that we have on Cuban cigars. <laughs> Sometimes those spaceships look like cigars too. But I don't think that has anything to do with this story. But a Cuban cigar, my phone rang. So <laughs> so now you've got Mark Cuban, who was going to run for president. I've, I'm having this dream that's weird about nuclear host and Mark Cuban and the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis, right? So basically what E.T. was saying is if you don't ban this quantum technology that's hacking people's minds, E.T. will hack everybody's minds around the world and create a nuclear holocaust and we'll all kill each other 
that's kind of the way ET works if you haven't figured that out yet. See, ET, like, finally he's got a messenger, right? Remember 911, 911? See, ET hacked everybody's mind to pull off ET phone home because we're living in an illegal technocracy that hacks people's minds, like I'm talking about. So it was an emergency to the cosmos. Hey, send me down the army now, right? And they did. <laughs> God sent the army down there. Okay. So what E.T. is going to do in this dream that I had, if you don't ban quantum AI from hacking people's minds, is E.T. is going to hack China and going to hack Russia and hack America and hack Israel, hack everybody with nuclear weapons minds, and, and we're all going to nuke each other and kill each other. That was the message. 